Well, hello folks. In my last video I did the GR1 prototype series race, the first race. And uh, I actually uh, narrated it for you through the replay. Uh, today I'm going to do it for you again. We're going to take the second race. As you can see, no re past results yet because it's the first time I'm racing it. And I'm going to do it through the race itself. So without further ado, let's get down to it. Let's have a quick check of car settings. You know, I think I'm going to leave those tyres on. The same tyres I had on for the first race. Just in case it starts raining. If it doesn't and it's sunny and I don't win the race because of those, then I can always come back again and do it with the racing tyres. And it's a 10 lap race at the Fuji International Speedway. Rolling start. 10 laps, let's go. And there we are coming around the first corner. Already overtaken one. See another three or four ahead of me. For those of you who've already raced in Gran Turismo, you know that this set of curves coming out can be a bit tricky if you don't have the right speed, you're going too fast too much throttle then you can go off the side there oh, we'll be coming back home to the home straight in a moment so one thing I've noticed on the Gran Turismo 7 is that building just in front of us wasn't there on Gran Turismo Sport. So obviously that's a new building they've constructed at this circuit since Gran Turismo came out. Oh yes, this car is fast. I'm enjoying the speed. And I'm already in 17th position at the start of the second lap. And we've got the chicane here. It's a much easier race to, to race this one when you come straight up instead of coming through the chicane. Just makes it a little bit more twisty. Improve your skills, I suppose. Although I am racing a lot in Gran Turismo 7 these days, I still do have Gran Turismo Sport and 
I do do my daily races on it to get my free cars and this circuit is one of the ones I actually do for my daily workout and uh, I use the the RUFC TR car and I've normally got it on an N400 or 500 setting although I have got it tuned enough to be able to put it up to N700 but when I come in a race on this track for my daily routine daily workout I'm actually racing against N1000s and I still win and I still lap some of them as well I mean that car is a car I've loved it's so fast, so easy to manage. Great on curves, great on straights. And yes, wise to keep those tyres on. I thought it might rain. Oh, and it's coming heavy again. For those of you who saw my last video, the one for the first race in this series, you may recall that I mentioned about only being able to see up front, not being able to have a rear view. And you can see that now. I'm looking out the windows. It's got a good all round vision for the sides and the front quite a panoramic view and there I'm on the grass that takes away any chance of a clean race bonus but I am in 8th 7th and I'm beating the SR now the SRT and I can see another three up ahead of me or four up ahead of me and I got off the track it's a good job there's no penalties in in this race I'm wondering if these cars have the the wet tyres on because they all seem to be going quite slow I mean I probably don't really need to but I'm going to hit a bit of nitrous here just to get a bit further ahead leave them far behind and slow down again oh I think I nearly went off the road there I mean even with wet tires you know uh, you still do get a bit of aquaplaning when you hit the brakes I mean, just look at the graphics in this game. Absolutely fantastic. Like I said in my last video as well, I'm a 60-year-old guy and I'm still enjoying gaming. Some people seem to be surprised that, you know, as old guys enjoy our video games. But, you know, I've been in here for the whole history of video gaming. I remember the very first video games that, uh, that came out. Games that, you know, you couldn't play at home because uh, there was no such thing as a home gaming system in those days. You had to go to the arcade and... Uh, 
you'd have that little tennis game with a bat on each side of the screen and a ball that would bounce in between that you could either play against the machine or you could play against a friend you know and then there's the other little one with a little triangle on the screen which was a spaceship and you'd be blasting away at space rocks and quite some time later you got uh, the Galax Galaxians and Galaga you got the uh, space invaders those type of games which are the graphics were a bit better and then eventually you know you started getting the uh, the Street Fighter games that type of thing and the games where you would be a pilot on a on a I think it was a what do they call those American planes? The F 24s or something like that? I don't know. The American uh, Navy fighter jets. And I remember when I got my very, very first PlayStation, which was the original PlayStation. Prior to that, I'd had the Amstrad CPC 464 uh, home computer, which only had a memory of 46 kilobytes, believe it or not. And you had to load your game in with a with a tape recorder. But if there was any fluctuation in the volume of the sound, then it wouldn't do properly, and you had to start reloading it all over again. I better not put some nitrous on because uh, it seems to be making the vehicle slide from side to side. So I'll not use the nitrous. Oh, I should have checked the fuel. Let's see if I've got enough fuel to get me round to the pits again. You know, I'm here busy yapping with you and forgetting about the pits. Anyway, getting back to the history of gaming. One of the first games I played on the original PlayStation was the Medal of Honor. I don't know if you remember those ones, if you're old enough. And that was a World War II game. And I remember thinking to myself when I got it, Oh, these graphics are fantastic! we hadn't seen anything like that previously but of course those graphics now are so outdated I mean I am a subscriber to the PlayStation Network you know the PS Plus thing and you can get some of these old games in the in the game catalog you know games from the PS1 some from the PS2 PS3 and I look at them and I think you know I can't play these games anymore I used to think they were fantastic but I can't play with these graphics because I've been spoiled by the graphics on the PS4 and now the PS5 Oh, I did it again, and I'm going to run out of fuel. I'm going to run out of fuel. I missed the pits again. There we go. So I'm going to end up back in 20th position, with only two laps to go. Let's see if I can use a bit of nitrous to get some speed at least. No, it's not going to work. They're all going to come and overtake me again. I 
I remember thinking on the first race because on the first race that I did of this series I was in second position and the guy in first position went into the pits on the very last lap and I was laughing and saying to myself well that was a silly thing to do but who's a silly Billy now? It's me So let's just hope I can get up to there without too many coming and taking over me, overtaking me. And then at least get some good position on that final two laps. Oh, I hate slow. Oh yes, yes, you can hit me from behind, give me a bit of a boost. Somebody just hit me from behind. And I've fallen down into third position. I really must learn to keep looking at my fuel. Oh, that's a strange thing. I've had two go past me in third position. Yeah, they're all dropping me out, they're all overtaking me now, and I'm in sixth. But here I am, heading towards the pits, with two laps to go. Let's hope I can catch them up again. Oh, come on car, move, move, a bit faster. Better change those tyres. Oh, you know what, I'm going to leave the tyres on. That's only two laps to go. I'm only going to fuel up enough for the two laps. Right, let's see what I can do. Right, I'm in 7th position. Let's see if I can manage, if not to take the lead, at least to be on the podium when the race finishes. I get back up on the long flat at the top there and the long straight I'll shove a bit of nitro on yeah perhaps I should have changed those tyres I didn't want to be wasting too much time in the pits But as a consequence, I may be wasting more time just spinning around. Oh, there I am relapping the car in position 20. Let me shove the nitro on. The rain seems to have eased up a bit. Thank you, driver of the SRT. Uh, pushing me off the track in your eagerness to uh, get further along. Well, I'm in sixth, there's fifth. I need at least another two positions 
in order to qualify for this race, for the prize, to get on the podium. And I can see them up there. But they're actually on the last lap already, so I'm not thinking positively about qualifying and I'm probably going to have to come back and do this race again see these are all the cars that are at the back of the of the race anyway it's not even the the first four yep so my best position for this race so far is going to be fifth So I'll have to come and do it again. But you know what they say, win some, lose some. And no doubt I would have won if I had kept my eye on the fuel and remembered to refuel at the appropriate time. Well guys, thanks for joining me again. I'll see you for the next race of this series. I'll probably, yeah, it'll be the next one because I'll race this one again on my own. And I'll let you know the result in the third one. So I'll say goodbye for today. And catch you later, folks. Oh, my driver is not looking happy. <laughs>